So I've already done my foundation. Um, as always, 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 I use the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. Um, Louise from Made in Chelsea, in my opinion, has quite a... I don't think her face is as dewy as mine, or as dewy looking. I, I actually find her face to be quite matte. And this is an inspired look, and I've kind of just adapted her makeup to what I like. So this is definitely not exactly her um, makeup look, but it's just kind of inspired by it and just taken... I've just taken bits from it and adapted it to myself. As always, it's my Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. I've used this for about two years now, I think. Now I'm just going to prime my eyelid with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Eyeshadow Base, which, again, I've used this for years. And I'm just going to prime my eyes. I have had my eyebrows done, and I haven't got them done at the place where I normally do. And I found that the woman who did it has really rounded them, I can't explain it. Now what I'm going to do next sort of totally depends on how much time I have in the mornings, but I'm going to take my HD Prat, my HD Brow Kit, which is really really dirty, and I'm going to take the lightest shade over there. So basically just take a bone colour, or like a, like a your skin colour, and I'm just going to pop this all over my lid, and a little bit higher as well, because it's just kind of a little bit lighter than my skin. That just provides a base because I don't actually think Louise uses eyeshadow, it doesn't look like she does anyway. So now I'm going to take my Collection 2000. I mean if you wanted to, um, you could kind of contour your eye a little bit more, but I'm not going to do that just because I don't really tend to anymore, um, because I don't really have time in the morning. And I'm taking my Collection 2000 Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. And this is just in black, and it's the nib looks like this. And I am going to need my mirror for this, so you'll have to excuse the mirror. But basically, what I have found, and you guys could totally, you know, like, disagree with me on this, but I don't find that Louise takes in her liner right into her eye there. And I have found that's why I probably like this look on me. I don't like a full 60s liner look on me where you come into the inner corner right here. I don't know why, I just, I've done it and it doesn't look that flattering on me. So what I tend to do is sort of, this, I mean, people who do liner or any makeup artist watching this, which I hope you're not because you might actually be shouting at the screen, I don't start the line straight in here. I sort of start it a little bit more in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, take my mirror because I just have to take my mirror for this and I'm going to lightly trace my eye but very very lightly and I do have a fish face when I do this like <laughs> just because I do um, and I've just really lightly traced the top of my eye hopefully you can see that but from the middle And her line isn't as thick, I would say, as I make mine. I think her eyes are a lot kind of smaller than mine. So um, I do make my line a little bit thicker just to make my eye look a bit bigger. Now I'm going to sort of trace where the flick would be. And the trick is, apparently, um, I'm not a makeup artist, to sort of have a line sort of that resembles something like that. So I'm going to... Trace that line hopefully you can see it and then I'm going to just join it and join it up kind of like so so that's like a little flick and then I'm going to just so the line doesn't look really stark like it has literally started in the middle I'm going to sort of make it a little bit thinner um, I can't really explain it but you'll, you'll sort of see the technique as I'm doing it I'm just going to sort of make a little thin line here again with my open mouth and that's the sort of flick done done and dusted that's um, number one now I'm going to try and attempt to do the other side. Um, not sure if this is going to go the same way, but um, I kind of don't elongate my flick as much as hers. Again, 
The only sort of technique I've taken from Louise is the fact that I haven't sort of gone in here. She might even go in there and it's just really, really thin with the line, but I don't really like to do that. I find that if I don't, my eyelashes look longer here, which I quite like. Anything that makes my eyelashes look longer, I dig, because um, I'm so into like having long lashes, it's unreal. And now I'm going to conceal under my eyelids. And I'm just taking a Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer in Medium 3. And I'm just going to, oh I can't see, can I? Um, I'm just going to take this under my eyes, just making little dots, and then I'm going to conceal blemishes at the end. That looks attractive. Then I'm taking a MAC 224 brush, and I'm just going to blend out the concealer. And I'm going to do a fish face. I'm probably going to perfect the line a little bit more once I've um, applied mascara just because sometimes when I curl my eyelashes it takes away some of the blackness and the intensity. I'm then going to highlight my face and this is a new little, little thing that I've found that I'm really enjoying and I take pearl cream colour base which I really really like and a number seven eyeshadow brush and because this is kind of synthetic, well I think it's synthetic or might not be I could be totally wrong. Basically, I like the fibres of this brush into this. Like, I don't know, I find it grabs the product just enough. So, I don't really like it with my fingers. I find I put it on a bit stark. And this sort of makes it look really nice. So, I'm just going to take this right here on the tops of my cheekbones. Again, I think her skin is a lot more matte than my skin. But, um, I do like quite, quite a lot of shimmer underneath the brow bone and stuff. And I'm just going to kind of connect the two products. And I'm going to take my finger and just blend some more. Don't know if you can even see a difference. I can. One thing that I absolutely love to do, and I never go with that, is I curl my eyelashes. And my eyelash colours are from number 7, and I really, really like them. And then taking my mascara... And um, it's my Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. Now I'm going to pencil in my eyebrows. I cannot remember for the life of me what her brows look like. But um, I'm going by what I do to my brows. And I'm going to take this ashy colour over here. Like I said, the woman who did my brows was some random woman at some kiosk. And I didn't really like what she's done to them. She's made them very round, if that even makes sense. And... So I'm going to just take the powder and do light feathery strokes and sort of try and eliminate that bloody Oh, it's not gonna work. I can't do I can't do brows. And then for my cheeks. I'm taking MAC Bronzer in Matte Bronze, which looks like that, on a Bare Minerals Full Flawless Face Brush. Tapping off basically all of the excess. And just bronzing my face. She's a lot more tan than I am. I don't look anything like her. I actually think Lexi from So Totally Vlog really looks like her. So Lexi, if you're watching, I think you look a lot like her. And just on my neck a little bit. And I don't even think she wears blush. I find that her face is quite like the same colour. But um, I'm taking Melba by MAC because it's my favourite. And... this on. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to take the mirror. This is my favourite blush, if anyone's wondering. 
and now my lips again I feel her lips are a lot nuder than sort of what I kind of go for although I do like a nude lip um, I've got some of that Dermalogica lip renewal complex or something on my lips now so I'm just going to put on Hue by MAC which is just the absolute best nude lip. So um, it's kind of really simple um, cat eye but not your average cat eye because I haven't gone all the way in here and I don't think you can tell but I think it makes my eye I think it makes my lashes look a bit longer and yeah I don't look anything like her but I still hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it's not a tutorial it was more kind of me getting ready because I don't really have anything to teach anybody it's just kind of how I have adapted a technique for myself I might even do if you guys enjoyed this then I might do the um, makeup look that I was wearing in my favorite jewelry video so I'll see you guys all soon and I hope you all enjoyed it and um, love you bye